Hey guys, it's Burger Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool Core Mode. Where la Bleh. Almost did it again. I almost. He's. went to do a recap. You know what's funny? My friend said to me, you should just. start. Re turn to doing recaps because I keep. almost doing one anyway. I said to him, and if I do do recaps, then I'll forget what the hell happened in the last episode, and I'll look like an extra. Who hey, doesn't Down give a shit? I don't want to have to produce something special Bruh. to break through this defense. Or just not do the recap. Because, I mean, look, this is episode 115. This is the 150th part of this particular Liverpool career mode. On FIFA 7. He's tackled well. It's a good challenge. 115 episodes. Look, even if if I subscribe to someone because I saw a they were in, like if I if I subscribe to someone and they're in the middle of a play through decision, I'm not gonna watch from a particular part. I'm gonna start at the very beginning. I'm not gonna just jump in. Because I'll be completely lost. Like, if someone came, came to this Imagine video, but because they were trying to find a Liverpool thermal video, the they were curious to see FIFA, and maybe they found my base. Even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. They might be intrigued by this, but surely you're going to see 115 and think, that's great. Probably should start at the beginning. Rather than jump in 115 episodes. This is season 5. You wouldn't have freaking clue yeah, what was going on. Half the pitch. players are players who don't even play for Liverpool. Never have and most now. never will. Well saved. Let's see what sort of system they use to defend the corner. If any. I mean... Look at the players I have on this team. We have Thibaut Cotois in goal. What's the likelihood of us signing him from Chelsea anytime soon? Yeah. Uh, about as much as... Very good stop here. They're, they're about as good as the odds were for Leicester winning the Premier League. Cross coming in now. And in comes the header. Deli Alli scores here. And like most things he does... Unless Cotois... Is, Randomly and a transfer request and Liverpool for some reason were the only team bidding for him So and with us and with Minule seemingly having Gotten over some of his terribleness not all of it. He still makes the odd clown and we're not going to instantly forget the horrific mistakes he has made. Let's go to the defender. Alaba. Liverpool need a left back, but that Alaba, we would need to pull a fucking miracle bit out of our ass to get that Alaba. Unless... He he had aspirations of playing for Liverpool. Like, how much would we have to pay for Alaba in real life? Like, I don't think. I think it was. Was it 55 million or something like that I paid for him in game? Which would probably be about half of what Bayern would want. I mean, he is by far and away the best left back in the world. I don't care what anyone says, he is. And that will be Liverpool's throw in. Bayern, for one, will not be too keen on selling one of their play. best players. No, i the best left back feet. in the world, because he'd be. It's Mane. Even with Alaba, your man, that he wouldn't be exactly the best replacement. Shoots! Yeah, it's well, guy, by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Um, so, yeah. All Liverpool. Batik! 
That's uh, not a very likely trend. As far as Deli Alley makes it 2 0, he's just in the right place at the right time there. Deli Alley's another one. How much would we have to pay to get him from Spurs? I mean, he could have been a Liverpool player. Or if Brendan Rodgers had, had some foresight, but saying that if he had some foresight, he would have not signed Christian Benteke, I would probably still be Liverpool manager. And I'd be a lot angrier. And we would not have gotten top four last season. I'm not putting it all down the clock, but let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Would Brendan Rodgers have even thought of getting someone like Joel Matip in? in? Yeah, no. Brendan Rodgers probably doesn't know who didn't know probably didn't know who Joel Matip was. The manager here has had an attractive off. He might be through. The only player on this team who is not a current Liverpool player who could be. He, and this is a very and this is stretching, is Renato Sanchez, because currently it seems like he didn't exactly play a lot of games at Bayern Munich, and there was some talk that he might end up being bought by. There were some rumours linking him to Juventus or some other club. So, Good technique. if we bid There's for him, we clear. might get him. Cross. He's the only one right now. Bayern Munich would probably, if they got a decent bid, they'd, they'd probably say, you know what? Manchester City. Oh, well, the gone up. There's going to be four oh, extra minutes. Storm as much good. as we had planned to, or I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, I don't know if good. he got injured. I, I didn't hear anything. Maybe if I had been following him, I'd say. But all in all, Renato Sanchez is probably the most likely. And at that, it has been Liverpool would probably not go for Renato Sanchez because. As of the possibility that we might get Naby Keita. Because why would we buy Sanchez if we're going to get Keita? Now, I'm not saying we're going to get Keita. The deal is pretty much it's as close as any rumor. So, there's that. It's Liverpool. Like, un let, until we hear he's having a medical, I'm going to say, I'm not putting him in a Liverpool shirt just yet. But he, he he's a player we are linked with, so and he's a central midfielder. So, if we did sign him, and that's a big if at the moment, we're not going to sign Renato Sanchez because, he, will he play over Naby Keita? I mean, there's rotation, we have... Uh, at least the Europa League he if not the Champions League if good challenge here they're more consistent than we were last Kyle year. Walker good to add and if we can improve our defense but right now if the Naby Keita deal happened I don't even think look Poole would go in for an our central midfielder. Their next, the next target has to be a left back. And whether that be Robson from Hull or not, I don't know. Well, we'll see. It's Mane. What? Moving forward with some, and he could get away here. He's got his shot off now. Naby Keita is the big. Rumor right now in terms of a central midfield. An hour of very good football like here. maybe Renato Sanchez might be a hypothetical name on the list of a possible you could look at. Oh, he's true. If Naby Keita, if some save, got a touch then prevents the Naby Keita deal from happening, like Isaac aren't this even listening to offers. The presentation of the Premier League fixtures. I'm not saying they reject offers. They're not even listening. They're not even responding to offers. Looking forward to it. Kevin De Bruyne. 
And in he goes. Which, is, uh, which would be a fast way of telling a team to go after the support. Um, if that was the case, as Stelliali scores to complete his hat trick, what a goal that was from the English midfielder. Leaves his uh, fellow oh, Englishman looking on in astonishment as the ball went past him. Um, but yeah, unless something, unless Leipzig just completely ignore Liverpool, and there's some talk of of Nambi Keita may have things around a little bit, may have to hand a transfer request to force through a move if he really wants it, which remaining might end up happening. I don't know. Liverpool's some talk of that happening, but even if. That is the case. If that does happen, this one easy for them. Mm. It's good progress with this attack. Mm. Doing well to keep the ball. Mm. The team, you can reject it. You can say no. We we do not accept your transfer request. You're you're our player. You're gonna play. Be for us. Coming onto the pitch. And like I said, unless the movement in the dugout, something to change here. Something concrete will need to happen for Nabi Keita to get over the line and become an official local player. Which is why, well, when they do say, with deals, I, mean, I always say I'm not putting getting it right a player in a Liverpool shirt until he's had his medical and he's been announced. Like, I was very be careful to not... There's some potential in this get too excited about how it's uh, until we agreed a deal and actually signed him and we got that over the line and he was announced now we can talk about him because he is officially a Liverpool player and how he's training with Squadron well if you got pace as this side is good to who see on the counter it's a wonderful finish with that in mind that is why Renato Sanchez might not be a target because so looking for more, nah, unless the Nabi Keita deal just dies absolutely, it's dead. Just not, you can. It's not even worth to going it back to. Idea, but he couldn't find his supporting player. Unless something happens with that, then it's a situation where you're like, okay. Hey, until something outright kills Nabi Keita's chances of being a Liverpool player. I'm not saying he's definitely going to become a Liverpool player. I'm not saying that at all. But unless something comes up and says as Liverpool are going to look elsewhere, then Renato Sanchez is probably not a likely player to be playing in Liverpool right now. And right now... As much as I don't want to jinx it or, uh, or say it's a definite thing because it's absolutely definitely not guaranteed by any stretch of imagination. Right now, Nabi Keita is actually closer than Renato Sanchez could ever be because nine talk. Of Renato Sanchez because Nabi Keita as deal isn't dead in the war. As for um, Sewell, who I did not mention, obviously we can't sign him because he just joined Bayern Munich. Um, the earliest we could probably sign him is next. The next summer window, or maybe January. I mean, as stretch, we might be able to get him on a loan. I don't know. I don't know what Bayern Munich's thought process for that would be. It'd be like, because I 
I get the feeling they might send him out on loan because I don't know how much game time he's going to get either. I know Bayern Munich like to sign young players and build them up. That's why they are pretty much 100% not going for Alexis Sanchez. They don't want to pay $100 million for someone who's in the prime of his career. They would rather sign someone and then build them up until they are in the prime of their career. Or they don't. That seems to be how they are doing business. Which is good news if you're an Arsenal fan. Without a doubt. Um, because it means your star man's not going to Bayern. And he won't torture you in the Champions League. When you get back in there. Notice I said when. Because. They will get back in there. I mean. Let's, let's be honest. Will it be instant? I don't know. Oh, I'm sure Arsenal fans will love to think so. Any Arsenal fan would probably happily take a Europa League trophy. Yeah, along with the Champions League he, he instant spots that it comes with. Although, for Arsenal fans are thinking, finally we have a striker who will score 20 plus goals. Well, maybe now we can win the league. Which, I don't know, can't exactly write them off. This, this might be the best chance for Arsenal in a good few years. I said this to a friend of mine. He's an Arsenal fan. He was very excited about the lack of that deal. I said to him. Man. This could be. The, the year you finally. He get the title back. I honestly believe that. Because. The way it is. Is. Arsenal. Had really been missing. That 20 goal. Plus a seasoned player. They need. And. Arsenal fans won't appreciate this. This comparison. But they needed a Harry Kane-esque player. Someone who. Bags. Lots of goals. Sorry Arsenal fans. But. It was either him or Diego Costa. Ah, which. Doesn't seem like. Ne neither would exactly. He uh. Feel you with glee to hear compare. Now, will Lacazette do that for Arsenal? There's no reason he Welcome should. Welcome everyone. I'm Martin Tyler. Now, He's Alan Smith, and we're going to talk about this match today. There might be a case of he might struggle to adjust to the Premier League. I don't know. Lacazette seems like the kind of guy who will absolutely thrive in the Premier League. Even though I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what he can do in the Premier League. Like, if Liverpool were in for a striker, I would be absolutely livid that we missed out on that guy. Fortunately, we're not in for a striker because Daniel Sturridge isn't leaving, apparently. And at that, we did sign a striker technically. And we signed him from the champions, even though he didn't play at all for them. <laughs> I don't even know if he has made a appearance in the Premier League whatsoever. But in uh, Dominic's sign game. But he played well for England, which is not going to fill me with joy because he's English, which means, 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 means T minus whatever to. Oh, he gets fucking injured and broken by England. One nil. Thanks, Alan. People who run the English setup are a bunch of fucking morons. Change at the top here. The Arsenal. Oh, he could be in. Saw the goal and went for it. It's in. It's a great start for them. Good goal, Origi. But um, yeah. It could be our. It could be a good year for us. Almost as if they drew them onto them, so that there was space to break into. This could be 
a good year for Arsenal. Now, having the Europa League will hamper them a bit. But it'll, it might come down to will Wenger focus on the league or will he so the first goal, it's one and just say, you know what, the Europa League, let's not even focus on the Europa League. Let's put all our eggs in the basket of winning the Premier League because that will get us in the Champions League anyway. Uh, a massive run that they're on and yeah. just and keep it going today. Well, you look throughout the side and it's full of top class performance and... I think, like I, even though I said Arsenal fans would probably happily take a Europa League win, if you offer them the Premier League or the Europa League, I think like 99% of Arsenal fans will probably pick the Premier League. I'm sure they would love European success being the only, well, actually, they're not the only uh, one of the top six from last season who haven't gotten any European success Man City haven't been. Well, these are, no, well, you can say you've been to a Champions League final. Man City's best run was this. Was watching the final. I know, I'm a dick. Um, but as much as Arsenal fans would love European success, if you offered them one... Now, I'm not going to pretend I speak for Arsenal fans, but I could see them both saying, if you focus on the league and if you win it, we'll happily say... Fuck you to Europe. I'm I'm trying to imagine someone from like Arsenal fan TV saying. That. He's got the ball. I could see it. He DT saying. It's a corner. He seems like the kind of guy that would say that. If you've no idea who that is, we clearly don't want to. Mane is the main man for his side. Even if you're an Arsenal fan, you should watch it at some point because the freaking brilliant. Well, it was a, a really accurate corner and a fantastic finish by the boy. Let's have another peek at that goal. Liverpool putting on a masterclass here. But. Right. Chances are, if you've access to right him, but he's kept the ball well. YouTube, he's then the ball the chances are you do know who DT is. David Alaba. Especially if you're a Premier League fan, because Moving some, with some danger to the opposition. You probably here. you watch, have watched Arsenal Van <laughs> Especially if you support a team who have a fan TV of their own, because you often. Might check out the opposition when they keep them on. The uh, has done well to stop that's how I found Arsenal fan TV to begin. With a game against Arsenal. And I was watching the Redman TV, which is the Liverpool fan TV site. Um, TV past his man now. And this is um, black gentleman who I've never seen on the show before. Was on there for pre marrying the previewing the uh, Arsenal fan, the Arsenal game. And I was like, Who, who's this guy? I've never seen him before. They mentioned his name was Robbie, and he was from Arsenal fan TV. And that's attacking now. I was like, Oh, Arsenal have a fan TV. Well. I mean, I had heard that Arsenal had one. I knew they had one. I just didn't know that this guy, Robbie. So I didn't really know at the time. Chance to hit the target. I, I don't know personally, but I would. Fantastic cross. I would be familiar with him now. Just didn't get his body right over the bar. Someone said, "Have you ever seen Arsenal fans I didn't see the requirement. It's the town run by Rob. 
still a chance for the because there's three added, three, three added minutes. Like, the Arsenal Fan TV bunch are probably the most recognisable of the bunch because... Well, there is the referee yeah. for half-time. It's 3-0 here. Maybe along with your man from Manchester United TV, Tate, whatever his name is, Andy Tate, I think it is. Can't say I see a substitution now. No or well, care. The second half's gonna be like but the first one sided. I think there's a goal to tell you about yeah. from Alan McAnally at the Emirates. It's a second goal for Swansea City. As I'm thinking about I could Thank you very much, Alan. I could, theoretically, I could see an Arsenal fan saying that. Now, would they say that? I don't know. Obviously, given in their choice, Arsenal or fans would probably he say both. I don't know, like, like I said, I have a few friends who are Arsenal fans. I've asked them that question. Adam Clayton. Like, it's 50 50. Some of them said it's Europa. Throwing so. coming up. But. No wasting of time in that situation. David Alaba. I think. There's been a penalty involving Leeds. If Arsenal were to win the Premier League, I think they would happily say, you know what, the Europa League, we didn't win it, but. We won the Premier League, so. Miles over. What a poor penalty. Well, hey, whatever. It remains 2-0. Thanks, Alan. I could see that, that be now a goal in a situation. We've had an hour gone here. And like I said, left. I do not speak and I do not pretend that I speak for Arsenal fans. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It's so we've got something that I could that see. Coming up for you on an Arsenal fan and saying, like, the if we come to May of next year, Arsenal won the Premier League, but they got knocked out of the Europa League. One. Looking forward to it. I could easily see the Arsenal fan and TV people saying, you know what, we didn't win the Europa League, but. We won the Premier League and we're in the Champions League anyway, so boom. That's not like they're gonna have to worry about pairing one of the Premier League teams saying, "Hey, we fucking won the Champions League." Not nah, fucking hope. Man City aren't gonna win it. Chelsea aren't gonna win it. Man United aren't gonna win it. Liverpool might not even be in it. We might be in the Europa League with Arsenal. No, no guarantees whatsoever. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable game, this 4-0. But if we are in it, we're not going to win it. Absolutely no hope. I maintain that if we do qualify, properly qualify, 100% qualify, we're kind of 50% qualify. We need to get the R50%. We finished fourth, but that's not good enough. Some people seem to forget to you know, have this thing called qualifier. You have to win that first. Then you're in the Champions League. We're not in the Champions League yet. But if we do get through a qualifier, for me, the goal is to get through the group stage. And not get embarrassed. I don't care who we're in our group stage with. If we can get through our qualifier, we should... Not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager it, will be delighted because they've not... Uh, they used that to... at all. They've given respect to their opponents, but they've shown who, the class too. Who propel ourselves through the group. We don't have to finish top of the group. I'm not saying we have to top our group. I'm not saying that at all. Well, I'd be more than happy finishing second. Especially if we come up against have a situation where we have a big team in the group which 
is probably going to be the case because I mean the likelihood there's almost always one group with a big team in it. Like to the team that's winning. I'm afraid not too much credit. Our best hope is to have Manchester United and Chelsea and Man City get drawn against. I think Chelsea are actually going to be in the first part, but that was a good crossing United and City might help us out there if they can get drawn against Bayern Munich, Barcelona or Real Madrid between them. If two of those teams could be taken away, I'd be more than happy to uh, not see any of them. I might get a little thick because anytime I mention Hmm. Well defended, not just hmm. getting across. He thought quickly as well. How nervous I would be in going up against the bigger three minutes. Going into the Champions League against teams like Barcelona. Someone says to me, didn't look who beat Barcelona last season. Good strong tackle. To which I always reply with, it was a friendly. Doesn't really count. Well, look at Barcelona that. probably didn't give a shit. They're probably like, eh, this is just make sure our team is fit. Otherwise, doesn't really matter. So, make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. Look at Dali Ali, almost 91 rated. Jesus. He, he's giving absolutely no shit about anyone trying to match him. Let's see if I can't force him over that line. Nope. He'll probably he get bumped up as soon as we go into December anyway. It's okay, I'm ready. Wait, are you playing in this game? Um, it's not until the next episode, so I'll have time to think. Um, quick word about tomorrow. I haven't gotten a thumb my thumbnails from my a uh, my guy yet. The guy who was doing them for me. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow may be more Liverpool career mode. Because I don't want to take Sunday off again. But if I don't have a thumbnail, I realistically can't do a video. So on a, I really don't want to do the, th the video without the thumbnail. So... It might be a case where you're you're gonna see more Liverpool career mode. I don't want to flood career Liverpool career mode down your throat, but that might just be the situation we're in. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully tomorrow I will bring you the first part of a brand new playthrough of GTA hey, three, and on Monday I'll have the first episode. On my brand new secondary career mode. Hopefully anyway. We'll see tomorrow. Until well then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time. I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.